Hi, welcome back to another episode of First Impressions. I'm Noelle, the host of Pop Punk and Pizza, and today I'll be reviewing some more of your requests. So a couple EPs and a song. So this band is actually from Joliet, Illinois, which is cool because I'm from Illinois. And the first song, Like Clockwork, starts out with kind of like a black flag drum beat, and then it goes into a more Blink-182 style drumming and guitar. There's definitely some big Green Day guitars in the pre-chorus. It seems like there's a little bit of a filter on the vocals, and I think it would be better if they were clearer instead. But I don't know, it kind of also gives me Gin Blossom vibes and makes it sound like an older song, so I don't know, maybe that's a good thing. But uh, Jetpack starts with this low distorted guitar and vocals together, and then it gets bigger with the added drums. I think the vocals are good, but they could be worked on a little, like they just need, like I don't know, a little zhuzh little more enthusiasm or something. I mean, that could also be to their advantage if it's, you know, the way it's sounding right now with, I don't know, it kind of has like Descendants vocals vibes. I don't know if this is making any sense, but um, anyway, there's an epic guitar solo in the bridge. Uh, the song Lake Geneva reminds me of Wendy Clare by Blink-182 because the way he sings the lyrics, Why Does It Have To Be This Way, is pretty similar to how Mark Hoppus sings I Wish It Didn't Have To Be So Bad in the Blink-182 song. So I don't know, but it, it reminds me of that song. <laughs> and there's a cool bass line in the beginning of Fourth of July. Overall, um, the vocals remind me a little of Descendants, but more so in that song, I think. And I can picture these songs being performed live, so I'd say they're good songs for a live show. And from pictures on the band page, the band members seem hella young, and it didn't sound like that to me when I started listening to the song, so I'd say they're really talented for being that young and sounding this good. So in this one, in the song Taking the Hood, there's some very good screamed vocals in it that kind of remind me of A Day to Remember a little bit. And in the song Call You Back, I they like how they use the little phone ringing sound effects and talking over the phone. I think they fit those little uh, snippets into the song pretty well. And I like how the song ends with feedback and then the next song starts with feedback like it picked up where the other one left off. And Fine includes that really fast punk drumming in it, which I always love. And I like the filter on top of the guitar in the beginning of the bridge slash breakdown that makes it kind of muted, and then it comes back big. I think that was a good touch. And then uh, there's a chiller vibe at the end of the bridge, and then it comes back into the chorus. Somewhere also kind of does that in the beginning, and then has the fast punk drum beat, and it makes me want to bop my head along to it. Uh, I like how at the end of the bridge it has a slower tempo tempo that dissolves to just the isolated drum beat which builds excitement for when they go back into the chorus and then it gets more mellow and has the muting filter on the vocals not really muting but you know it's, it kind of makes it m like more fuzzy and less loud <laughs> i don't know and then it comes back and ends big and i like that contrast of going back and forth and it's definitely a good ending song i think all these songs are bops it's cohesive all the songs sound like they fit together but they're like different enough from each other um you know they don't sound exactly the same and uh this band is from france and it was kind of difficult for me to decipher the lyrics because of the vocalist's accent. Um, but all songs are good and enjoyable, and uh, it was mixed and mastered well, I think. I mean, I'm not, like, a producer or anything or, like, a mixer, but um, it, to me it sounds pretty professionally done. And I think there's talented guitar and drum playing, and every all the instruments sounded you know, professional, and the whole thing is pretty fast and, like, on the heavier side of pop punk. So this song is more on the alternative side, and the guitar has this, like, beachy surf quality to it, and I get, like, After Laughter, Paramore vibes, or, like, The Strokes vibes from it. Uh, the vocals are pop punk sounding, though, to me at least. Uh, I think it's mixed and mastered well. I mean, the sound quality is good. Uh, it has a chill vibe, and 
there's like higher pitch vocals in the post chorus and then it has chimes in the bridge and then it goes to like this hip hop sound with a little bit of a rap but it like you wouldn't expect that to fit but it does fit though and then it like climaxes into screamed vocals which i really like and i like the ending when he says are we still the same or and then it's just the isolated vocals did we change and that's also the lyric the song began with so i think that's cool how they closed it out that way well i hope you enjoy my amateurish reviews and if you like this video, be sure to check out the first episode of First Impressions here on our Instagram, or it's also on Facebook. And if you enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, uh, give it a like and comment what uh, suggestions you have for the next First Impressions video.